Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Sweden's Hand, and this is chapter two of uh, Courage and Gratitude. Um, kind of just building, building towards something um, bigger than ourselves. And um, so what I wanted to talk to you today about is um, I'm really focusing on what I can control in my life and what I'm grateful for in my life and what I um, deserve in my life and trying to like manifest this goodness in my life. And um, so yesterday I was watching some videos on YouTube and I was watching Louise Hay, and she was talking about an author from 1926, or 25, 1925, um, and she wrote a book um, called The Game of Life and How to Play It, and it's by Florence Scovel Shin, and um, I, really, I, I really enjoyed listening to that book on Audible, um, really, really um, changed my perspective of like what, um, what I want to focus on in my life. I don't want to focus on, oh, you know, this is happening to me and this is happening to me and this is bad and this is bad. And I want to focus on this is what's happening to me and this is what's happening to me and everything is really, really good. I really am blessed. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm trying to change my perspective um, from, you know, the things that are holding me back um, and the things that are bringing me into a new, um, you know, a new level of gratitude. And um, I want, I, I have my, my vision board here and it says, you know, life kind of begins outside of your comfort zone. And if you stay in your comfort zone of, oh, this is, you know, this is happening to me and this is happening to me and this can't, can't work for me and I can't get past this and this block is, is affecting me and I can't, um, I can't overcome that. Um, if you change that perspective of, you know, getting out of that comfort zone or the sky's the limit of, you know, gratitude and just being courageous and moving that first step forward, um, it really, really does um, change your outlook on life. And um, so this is saying, if you're willing to change your thinking, you can change your life. Um, appreciate life with gratitude. Uh, life changes for the better. And if you practice this on a regular basis and you're willing to forgive those who have wronged you in the past, um, your subconscious mind will change to say, um, instead of thinking of or focusing on resentment and unforgiveness and doubt and jealousy and hatred, um, my subconscious mind knows says, you know, I'm not enough. I'm not a good girl. I'm not um, worthy of love. I'm not worthy of respect. Um, I can command that mindset to change. Um... And that I am enough, and that I have worth, and that I'm, um, I have faith over my fear. And there is a supply for every demand. Um, so that was a really good, I'm really glad I found that book. Um, it was really a good way to change that practice of updating your subconscious mind um, to a more um, positive outlook. So, yeah, so that was, um, and you know, I mean, it, there are people out there that say, oh, just focus on the positive. Um, but if you're not like right, trying to replace that subconscious tape in your head that says, you know, you're not enough or you're unworthy of love, um, you're not really, um, you know, you can be as positive as you want, but if you're not replacing those tapes, um, you're not really going to make a lot of change. So the cards we have today are the Healing Spirits cards by Gordon Smith. 
and they look like this. They have that medical uh, sign up front. And let's see what today brings. All right. And it is this card, and it says lost but never alone. And Lost but never alone. There might be times in this world when you feel you ha you feel a great distance between yourself and others, and the sinking feeling of loneliness brings you down. This is the perfect moment to call upon your spirit guide and ask if you can know them better. Your guide will have them. Your guide will have been waiting for this moment and be happy to connect with you. In meditation, ask if you can receive a personal sign or a sensation that will only occur when your guide is close to you or is acknowledging a question of yours. The same sign or sensation will appear repeatedly until you understand that this is your guide's personal calling card and their way of building trust with you. Lost, but never alone. So, um, yeah, so that's a, a good way for me, at least, to change my mindset, to say, yes, I might be feeling alone, I might be feeling lost, I might be feeling stuck, I might be feeling trapped, I might be feeling bound, but I'm never alone, never, never alone, I know that, and changing that outlook, changing that perspective really does help. All right, I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.